forgive me if I'm if it's like wild sentimental or just just out there today. Um, celebrities passing is a is a tough one, um, mm. and it's L knows this, but Lex, entertainment nigga is just always been my thing. TV, music, I like. <laughs> uh, I never never forget like I wrote my first like screenplay, hella juice, and for whatever reason like. Like I rapped for, I think I rapped in front of L once, and he didn't laugh. So he was like, I didn't have a problem showing him shit after. That. <laughs> like, because in my mind he was the coolest nigga. So at some point I was gonna have to do this expression in front of him, and then he was gonna roast me because he was just cool. And the nigga didn't uh, uh, at the at the on ninety if that day. Me and Josh was freestyling in the back, and L was just like, L just kept playing the game. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know if he was getting on his nerves or or not, but. He did at least, you know how niggas, like, facial expression or something will insinuate that, are you, all right, don't do this in front of them no more. My first encounter with that in front of G was, like, it was hella welcoming, so I just never had an issue showing them shit, right? Fast forward to high school, uh, he's staying with us, and I'm in theater finally, and I get to write my first screenplay, nigga, I'm juiced. Show L, this nigga goes, (laughs) without hesitation. Okay, young Tyler Perry, I see you. <laughs> but mind you, this isn't Tyler Perry with the studio. This nigga's only done Medea at this point. <laughs> Maybe meet the Browns, but for sure only the Medea plays, nigga. Like, oh, okay, young Tyler Perry, I see you. I, I, and I never forgot that. Um, I, I never forgot how funny that shit was. Um, but also thinking about it now hearing michael k pass that very specific memory came up because so much of his life was dedicated to just expression um and he and obviously he had a he had a exterior aesthetic that just came with assumptions and prejudice and his art allowed him to ascend past any stereotypes or any aesthetic you would try to place on it. His art took him past that and his love for art and expression. Um, and uh, I've seen several people talk about it, but it's like whenever he showed up in anything, whether it was one of the low budget hood movies to a big HBO budget film, he, he always showed up. Oh, like always. He he's never he's never just mailed it in, and has accepted the challenge of of creativity moving you into discomfort, um, and and even that can come at a cost, um, especially when you're not insulated. Um, there's people pillaging and not protecting you, and uh, and not to always connect connect things to personally but I, I i do i do feel really strongly and passionate and clear about a mission to insulate and protect creatives like specifically um you're 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 priceless you're invaluable for one um your contribution to society through a lens of expression can can be ever life change a song can change somebody's life completely mm-hmm. um a film can change somebody's life completely. A billboard, an ad, a, a, an article. Like, I've seen it. I've seen people be inspired by photography and painting and sculpting. Like, creators do some amazing shit. Um, but they're preyed upon, um, taken advantage of, not protected, thrown to the wolves because you're you're susceptible and you're vulnerable and you're accessing something. So when all when all that shit gets to start playing with, with God and channeling and shit, it, it's a little different. Um, it's not the same. It's not the same as just flat out religion. We're having a different conversation because you're being used. Even even the niggas who don't subscribe and don't pray to pray to nobody, when they when they, if they're being honest, if they're really tapped in, when they're when they're creating and expressing themselves, bruh, and it's landing, that ain't you. Stop taking. Stop trying to take credit for that shit. You tapped in and channeling something else when you really really there. And Michael K, to me, was always channeling when he played a kid. That. My, uh, Montrose in Lovecraft, nigga, will, it's one of the greatest characters ever. Mm-hmm. Ever. 
and when he speaks about where he had to go to to find that character and to and to to put that that type of uh acting and art on display whoo it just hit different it hit different yeah um so i think that's why it's such a reflective week um as a crea- as a male black creative and coming from where i come from he provided hope in a way that i didn't know was possible um you could look a certain way you could be in the fucking shakespeare um you could want to push boundaries you could want to tell specific type of stories showcase all facets of where we come from and not try to suppress informate like the cool shit has no space in art get that get that get that narrative away so when niggas we did the whole drake and yay shit say what you want about them niggas they have completely succumbed to the idea of cool driving any meter because it's not a it's not a real variable mm-hmm. you can't make no money from cool drake's proven that over and over again you y'all niggas can say what y'all want but the, your, 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 your women your women your women dictate everything and i got them so what are you talking about oh this nigga yeah he's crazy he's not okay bet but the influence and that comes with the ship i we keep seeing it time and time again, and y'all keep sub- subscribing to a variable that's not real, bro. I, I can see. I can see and I can feel. Stop playing with me. So stop trying to insert cool as a variable that dictates expression because it don't have no value here. Fuck your cool. This is storytelling. This is art. This is expression. This is different. It's a man. And, and that's what Michael K. did for me as a creator. Um, as a storyteller and everybody talks about his acting but the documentaries he chose to direct and produce and narrate and lead i think is are even more important he chose to go highlight parts of places that only he could access that's value that's just smart it's just really really smart hey i want to tell this story i come from this specific place i'm the only one that can really really tell it for real let's bust it down let's do it here you go and it and it go off without a hitch um I, I yeah that was, that was, it just this was sad more than anything I was really sad yeah I definitely hate when like people limit um, these type of things to just like the act you know what I mean like the um, like telling people to you know talking about folks that do drugs and like the like like not knowing the the combination and like the you know the details of what it is that you're doing um and like it just being withered down to fentanyl and stuff like that like i don't it, it's it's so much more than just that and getting behind um uh you know just what it just what it takes i think i think when you're i think when you're creative um and like you care uh in a in a world that in a world that doesn't you know like it it's a lot on you you know so like it's not as simple as you know the i just seen I, hey i just seen a lot about the fucking um uh what is it what was the what was the ad thing that they tried to do from the government uh during the crack the crack epidemic uh not crack is whack a uh, dare not dare um, yeah. Like, don't do drugs or some shit. Yeah. Is that? What was the? Is that the, is that the, is that the one that they there? did? Uh, wasn't it there? Yeah. It was there. Well, they they had. There they was did. one of them. I'll say there. no. Say just no. say no. Just yeah. say just no. Say no. Just crack say is no. whack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crack is whack wasn't the one. <laughs> Whitney, <laughs> Whitney Houston, God bless her beautiful soul, just let niggas know crack is whack and it's cheap. Y'all got me fucked up. Like I'm doing drugs, but nigga not crack like fuck with me like right. <laughs> but people took it on one she yeah they did took that I, I miss Whitney so much man I wish I wish we had a better understanding about addiction um that her soul even in her addiction she still managed to to make us smile and they and they fucking did a whole tv show about their like that happened I'm, I'm getting off subject but that really right. happened y'all these people are sick and the handlers and everybody signed off around them to like let Do them story shit. tell their day. Like that's the type. God damn it, that's the type of wellness. And and I, I like, hey, no, this is not happening. We're we're not going to film their demise and and feed it. Are you kidding me? Figure out how to how to help and and protect them. But instead, somebody made a lot of money off of that. I'm my bad, G. 
Oh, you're right. You're right. And that's, I mean, that's more, that's more damaging than, that's more damaging than, than the actual act. I think it just gets uh, belittled to uh, the act itself, you right. know? So, I mean, because... I mean, for celebrities, at least, like you're in the limelight, so it puts a it puts a lot of light on on that. But you know, there's people in the and when they're not doing creative shit, how do you think they're getting to their next creation? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I I I think people aren't like that's just something that you're not paying attention to, right? Because you know? it. And then, like, the whole thing about checking up on people and, like, you know, shit like that. Like, there's a lot of things that goes into it. But right. even with that, you know, I think I think people are going to do what it is that they want to do. Right. And what gets them to whatever their next thing is, you know. So right. life is life is longer than you think. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot more. There's a lot more to it than just, oh, I don't do it, so therefore it's bad. Like, that's not. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, like, that's not the. I mean, if you take in that mentality, then you obviously are missing a shit ton, a shit yeah. ton of the equation. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I don't. Oh, go ahead. You, what you got, Bob? I was just gonna say. Also, some one of the things that I think a lot of people don't think about when it comes to creating, and for a lot of people that, so they think about, oh, it's them going to this dark place to do this role or to give you whatever art it is, if it's music or nothing. It's like going to the dark place is easy. The hard part is finding your way back Back. out of that dark place. So Hmm. finding the way out is the hard. So it's like everybody's admiring, oh, he was able to go that dark. And then they think after that role ends that they cool now because, oh, they're not doing that role every day, so they should be fine now. When really it's now they're stuck in this place that it's really hard to get out of. And then... When the door closes, you're there by yourself, and if you're still in that dark place, that's when, old, like you said, old habits, old things, hmm. start to happen again. Hmm. I um, damn, Lex, because you see, you see it, you've seen it with with iconic characters across the board. Like they get really high praise for these impactful ass roles, and their loved ones and everyone around them talks about what a cost that was. Um, not even on no acting shit. The people around Mac Miller, that's all they talk about was like, yo, there wasn't a bright there wasn't a brighter spirit, but a more tortured being. And my one of my favorite I feel and I feel so guilty for this, y'all. One of my favorite bodies of work that exist known to man is Mac's uh unofficial record faces. And the whole, the whole, the whole record is about battling addiction and suicidal thoughts, and and it just so happened to drop when I was in a similar space. Like that, the, my life was so fucking parallel. Without, I mean, without the access to the bread, but the thoughts and the the feelings and the, the like, you just think when you feel when you feel so so exposed. Think I'd be feeling naked some days. I don't want to. I don't want my feelings to be attached to. Something that I can't control, nigga. But some days I just can't control it. I can walk out, especially in Oakland, is a complete, um, like it's like ground zero for that shit. Cause you're looking at these big ass buildings, these brand new ass buildings. You you know how many millionaires and billionaires alone live in the Bay Area, but you still get to interface with so much poverty at the same fucking time, bro. It will ruin you. I don't, I, cause I, I'm not, I'm not in a space to, to demonize wealth. Like I don't subscribe to that, but I also, this person is, don't have a place to go. This is crazy. Like I, I just, and I, and when you can't help, but feel all this shit. And I just gotta, sometimes I just gotta come in the lab, close the door and close all the blinds. I, I just, if I'm being, if I'm keeping in a buck, I just have to have to, cause it's, it's, it's too, it's too real. You too, feel too exposed. I exposed all the time personally um and but it also that 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 level to that level to internalize all that shit might be my superpower though. like 
so many it's like yo bro I just appreciate how you show up to the space like damn I, but I can only show up like that because of how I feel how do I protect myself in that instance too and not fall back on bad habits and not internalize and not have my identity wrapped into being able to fix those things you know what I'm saying there's a, it's such a delicate balance uh, so I just I just want to say I just want to send love to 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 him and, and say thank you as as a as a black man that looked like him his fearlessness um what he chose to express and show like i just i just just grateful just grateful more than anything um to him as a as a creator uh 